Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode. If you didn't see the last episode, you can watch it right there in the upper right information box, including the playlist and some other playlists as usual. Okay, um, Crow News. Government to crack down on taxi turf war after a driver dies from a stupid prank pulled on their vehicle. Galstad falls into chaos as military forces move towards the capital. Soda company starts selling Mojito rum cola flavored sodas. Parents enraged. Abusive police officer stabbed by their spouse. The visionary Adam R read the 10 best science fiction novels from the early atomic age. Market experts Experts warn against investing in Yitcoin. Reports just coming in. It seems a hostage situation may be taking place at the courthouse. Okay. Sounds great. <laughs> a lot of shit going on. Warning Grim. Good you are paying attention. After all, we cannot allow workers to doze off or become complacent or else mistake. Else may. Mistakes may sneak into their workflow pipelines. Quota for today. Two humans have to die. Spare any humans with a science background. I hope you are enjoying the routine. Faith. Uh, sure. I am enjoying it. We don't have a lot of money left. Uh, Mathematician. Where did it fail? Fiona Joe, 22 math medicine. A sharp mind and quick wit have served Fiona well. They are math experts in a popular science show. Making maths cool again and hoping no one notices their extensive tax fraud and deep endeavors. Ferize Williams, 40 investor. Ferize is an avid investor enthusiast, spending all their waking hours tracking stock price and buying slash selling stocks randomly. Despite having zero knowledge of economics and no desire to learn, they keep successfully convincing people on social media to invest in Yetcoin. That's obvious. Benazir Al Aram. 49 nuclear phys physicist. Science. Uh, nuclear is science, right? Benazir was inspired to study nuclear physics by old science fiction novels. Their orig original plan was to build some sort of atomic death ray, as seen in their favorite novel, which Alas, never went anywhere, but by that time they'd become an accomplished and respected physicist. You get to live. Jonas Riesling, 90, 37. I always, for 9 I always say 3 and for 3 I always say 9. It's still in my head and it's, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a weird thing. Uh, position judge. Jonas Leads an inevitable life of moral integrity. They have it figured out. In their prime time, they enjoy the fruits of their well established position. When not engaged in upholding the law, they dabble in a vineyard which starts as an elaborate joke related to their name. Jones Riesling. Mm, I don't know. Genzo Omura. 28. Astronomist. That's also science, right? Genzo is deeply intrigued by the universe and... Mysteries but doesn't enjoy leaving their hometown. They should never consider boarding a spaceship, but they love to look at, at the universe from an, the comfort from their own home. Having witnessed quite a few of... Quite a few of UFOs, they are slightly worried about the universe visiting us. Kalia Fieldspar, 40, biology teacher. Kalia teaches biology at an evening school for adults. It's much less frustrating than teaching over-energized teenagers at regular high school. It can 
actually be pretty fun because they can go out drinking with their students. Everyone's an adult there after all. Two people have to die and all people with biology whatever shit had to live. And so we did. What a day, Grim. What a day. Let us go over your conduct first. Mm hmm Good. I see the correct amount of profiles. Today seems to be in order. Anyway, Grim, five days you have been with us. Mm hmm How does it feel to make the difficult choices? I don't think it's really difficult. I didn't like it at first, but I've grown in... Grown to enjoy it. Yeah. A job like any other. Honestly, I feel like I'm not killing enough people. I crave more. I still feel awful about every choice. Every moment is a living hell. I hate this job. Um, my job like any other. Uh, well, the, the, this is um. Yep. Grim, take this seriously. <laughs> we are here to save the humans from themselves. And hold the chaos at bay. Yeah. Hold the chaos at bay, eh? Sure. But think of the humans. Do you think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? Absolutely. Hmm. Your certainty soothes me. Ours is the tradition, and those should not ever change. For well, that is the meaning of a tradition, yes? This... Control over all the lives, unbeknownst to the humans. Do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you made? But you hand out the rules and make me do the choices. Can't worry too much if this is what has to be done. I'm not happy about the situation. No. You hand out the rules and make me do the choices. True enough. <laughs> One must be in charge. The others are there to follow. <coughs> Excuse the me. The office is perennial and venerated. Eons we have spent designing the appropriate methods and strategies. We know what we are doing. That's good. Oh, I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. No. Before you go, are there any questions you would like to ask me? Why haven't I seen any underage profiles? What is the basis for the profiles? Is there a points system? Why do we all the profiles refer to people as they? Not really. Uh, yeah, indeed. Why is no one underage? Ah, the children. They are a special case for a different set of departments to deal with. You will not find any yourself. Oh. Are there many offices or departments? Countless. And they all have Reapers working in them? How many Reapers are out there? Infinite. Whoa. Exactly. <laughs> Anything else? What about animals? Do they get a department? What's the ba basis for the pro- Oh, uh, yeah. Absolutely. All living beings have to be processed after the end. No escape. Hmm. Even plants. Yes, there is a department for plants. Damn! Do not ask about the plant department. Anything else? What about the unliving things? Buildings stuff? Technically, uh, kind of. I guess. Ruins are like a type of dead. But then again, they often feel so alive. Hmm. I must ponder. This topic is a bit too abstract for now. <laughs> Let us table it. Anything else? Uh, is there? Yeah, I'm pretty curious. <laughs> to to be honest, is there a oh, point system? Uh, not at all. Don't they all influence the world in many ways? The humans can't actually affect anything. You don't sound too sure about that. Mm, I am. Quite so. Is it predetermined? What about free will? 
Humans have some free will, sure. They can make a variety of choices. Yet what matters is that they cannot escape the inevitable. Nope. The life-threatening situations that bring them onto your desk. The result of their own deeds and decisions. Fair enough. Then there are some highly complex calculations, factors and aspects that influence the situation. But that is just a bit over your pay grade, so do not worry about it. Anything else? Why do all the profiles refer to people as they? An astute observation. You see, Grim, our office does not operate on information about biological backgrounds or genetic composition. So, no ethnic data? Minimal. Hmm. Everyone you assess is simply human, after all. Yeah, Excluding true. Excluding any monumental error in normal procedure. The bottom line is that the humans end up on your desk and that you must follow the rules. Anything else? Uh, that's all I can think right. of. It has been enlightening. I bid you a good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Give me my money, bitch. And then let's take a look at the store. Have ye seen such deals before? Tis ye who plunders me. It's the same chest again. Hey, this is 500. This is also 500 chest. Uh, yeah, we, we will buy the resonator. Why Shiver not? Me timbers. Tis a tale most so oh. I dare not even recall the details. But since ye wish to hear it, I shall tell it forthwith. There I was, scouting some rickety office building downtown, and I saw this in an elevator. Went in, tore it out, and made a run for it. <laughs> <laughs> the device has immense power. Ye turn the knob, and infinite pleasant noises come from it. Some might even call it music. So it is a music box, what I said. Nice. Oh, who? Oh. Oh, it's... R okay, whatever. Well, we'll unpack it next week. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification bell if you subscribed. And if you were already subscribed, thank you so much for all the support. Thanks, everyone, for watching this episode. And I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to share your favorite series down below in the comments or a series you want to see come back. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, bye.